What is up, guys? Welcome back. <laughs> I'm whispering because <laughs> because babies. So I always walk in in the morning and I say, <laughs> I said, "Good morning, babies." But I'm talking to the moms, and I walked in this morning and I said, "Good morning, babies." Good morning, babies. Good morning, babies. Mississippi, my pie, look at that face. You are gorgeous. I just thought it was adorable that every time I walk in, I say, good morning, babies. And then whilst we have the babies, they chime back in unison. Okay, guys, tonight. Where's Gizmo? Oh, hi. <laughs> Hello. Yes, you. Thank you. Tonight, Gizmo will be going... <sighs> going in with the big boys. Late this evening. So we... You guys know, if you've been watching, we... I like to put him in... Maybe around 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock. Give him about two hours before darkness. <clears throat> Come on in, boots. <laughs> I like to give him about two hours before dark to let them hang out with the boys a little bit, but not have enough time to get in too much trouble before nightfall. So then they can all just go in the barn, lay down, and go to sleep. So you'll be going tonight and then President Snow, well, I think actually I'm off on President Snow. I'll have to check that, double check. Charlie, you have something on your face. But guys, we were uh, doing a little weigh-in babies, dosing Toltrazeril. This has been one of our best years for Toltraz and Coccidia. The only issue we had was Sprinkles, if you guys go back and look. Sprinkles had, right after her kidding, she had the worst coccidia I've ever seen. And the Toltraz cleared it up pretty quickly, but after you poop that much and clear out her whole gut, and she was down a little bit. But doing good now, doing very well. Morning, Tic Tac. So I gotta get these ladies milked. I see your udder, Mom. That's a nice udder. We don't shave generally. You definitely have a nice udder, Miss Sparks. Hi. Okay, are we, what are we doing? Are you starting to like me? <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> but I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah, I know why you're standing here, because your babies are in there. <laughs> Who else has an udder I'd like to look at? Not you. You are I'm not sure what's going on with her. She went from big milking to little milking. Oh. All right, nobody wants to show me their backsides. Come on, you beautiful. <laughs> oh, 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 sorry, get you right there. Oh, yes. Hi, right, guys, back in a minute. Morning, babies. <laughs> that never gets old. Where's your babies, Mom? There's one of them trying to get to you. She can't. Too much traffic. Baby roundabout. You guys, the whole view up. Mom. Oh, I'm sorry. There you go, babies. Oh, found. Oh, that's not your mom. <laughs> Goodness. 
All right, guys, this, I am definitely gonna be short and sweet today, but I wanted you guys to see the babies. Some of what we do at night. Little Charlie, hanging in the sling. I don't know, let me see. How much do you weigh, little Charlie? It says he's cute. Seven pounds, you nailed it. I've been doing really good. Oh, that's my toe. I know, I should've worn my boots. Are you cool up there, man? You just gonna take a nap or what? Are oh, you gonna try to get him without me? Sure. Some of them like the medicine, some of them don't. <coughs> well, the, the problem is they roll away, they they swing away from me. Stop it. Up next we have Twink Pants. Twink Pants? Um, you only weigh as much as Chuck Norris weighed when he was born. Six. How old is she? Three weeks old. Chuck came out your size. <laughs> Goodness. And sweet, sweet Augustus, who is very sweet, actually. Sweet. Super sweet. Yes. Weighs 8.6 pounds. Even taking his medicine like a sweetheart. Mm -hmm. No muss, no fuss. There you go, buddy. <laughs> okay. So now we have lightning. Is it lightning or Mater? Oh, nope, it's Mater. Yeah. This harness isn't quite right. He is, they're six weeks old and he is 12'4". He might want to Wait, is this lightning? This is lightning, yes. Lightning is 13.8. It was 12.4 was Mater, yeah, I think. Yeah, it weighs yeah, almost so. a pound and a half more than oh, his brother. I'm yo, surprised. biggin. Because people are always asking how we get stuff done and it's just, uh, I hate to keep saying it, but probably working around 15 hours a day, every day. The girls on average are doing about 23, I have the exact numbers, like 23.25764. We run a spreadsheet with the averages, so it goes out a few decimals. So well over 23 average per goat. Obviously that means some goats are producing you know 30 and some of them are producing 15 or whatever so uh i did have one call out i wanted to make somebody you know when i did the crystal shout out video just full respect full love full appreciation for crystal and i, I never said i was in her league um you don't get into a league if you don't try so definitely trying to increase our quality via most of what crystal does and the only thing that i said that we were in line with on crystal and you guys can go and check her videos uh, she's been putting up how many goats she's milking and what she's getting every day all i said was pound for pound ounce for ounce we're getting the exact same amount of milk per goat as she is Good morning. <laughs> You're so weird sometimes. So, tomorrow is the big show at Dandelion, or Dandelion, see, I'm gonna have you guys all over the wrong part of the country. Delaware Festival in Delaware, Ohio. Come check us out. We'll be down by the soundstage. Uh, I requested to be moved across the street. And they actually moved us further away from across the street, which is awesome. And then they put us two tables down or three tables down from another soap table. Also awesome. So I'll have a chat with them in the morning and see. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'll have a chat with them in the morning and see, see what's the haps, what's the deal. Mississippi, you got that Sinai thunder line cross on your face. You know that? Little X across the nose, the little white X that makes that <laughs> buckskin breakup look so amazing. Like our mama. Miss Puddin. No, um, she's not gonna get her head out of there. All right, guys. 
Like I said, short and sweet. I got a lot of stuff to get done for the show tomorrow. I have soap to make and to wrap. And I have 800 bars of soap, 800 plus. I keep only saying 800, it's 800 plus bars for the June 3rd restock on Etsy, guys. So just, you guys should have a lot more time to, no guarantees, obviously, that you'll have more time to shop around, but um, at least we're trying to get to the point where you can have time to shop around. So we're gonna do 800 plus bars on Etsy. And I have to wrap all of those. We do a paper wrap and then we do a string tie, which most of you know, because we like to make things pretty. And yes, it's a lot of work, but also we're not gonna compromise our quality or our look just to get out more soap. So I'll just shut my mouth and wrap them. It's gonna be stormy tonight, rain overnight, and the rain is supposed to stop before we get there to set up tomorrow. So hopefully that holds true. <clears throat> See if I can get Puddin to stop so you can look at her face. So, Puddin. Now, leave that baby alone. You're such a meat. Here, give me the baby. Give me the baby. Look, Queen Bee. I'm not one of your little peasants. Look at her face. See how she has that white X on her face that. Causes the nose to stay colored. And then whenever sweet little Miss Mississippi. <laughs> She's got full tail wag. Hi. Full tail wag going on. It's okay, Mavi. Now look at Mississippi's face. She has that white X across her face that provides that same awesome look. And she has a broken heart on her side. And she's blue-eyed, and she's pulled. And if somebody said she has a uh, Mississippi. <gasps> yeah, don't wanna mess with that one, Mabby. Someone says she, if, you, if you're real creative, she has a dollar sign on this side, right there. <laughs> All right, Mississippi, you wanna take us out, baby love? Thank you and bye. One more thing before I go, guys. Anybody want to tell me what they see? Anybody see two front legs bent at the knee? <gasps> she is doing amazing, guys. But she does still have her bad days. A couple days ago, about made me cry just watching her. And I just... Mm. But I come in here today and she's got both knees bent. And she had them like that last night and it didn't even dawn on me. <laughs> and she likes her CBD. I already gave it to her, but that's how she reacts. I just pop it in her mouth. <laughs> oh, baby love. Yeah. It's like that. That's your buddy. All right, I'll get you girls fed and let you out of here. <laughs> Thanks for hugging my hand back.